was there a story behind Azure being sent out in day one and see through in day two? Like, did you like pull yeah, straws or like what what happened? Uh, they played they played table tennis and <laughs> the loser had to go first. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Oh my god. All right, it's funny here in the bottom right hand corner. We have got him back. It is the pink Polish Protoss playing for Blazer. This is Christiana. And spawning in the top left hand corner of Grass Farm, we have his opponent. We have the red Protoss representing Mystery Gaming. It is strange. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still shaking my head at the nerd <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh -huh. So they, we were trying to make Sheldon play on the first day because that uh -huh. was the plan. Yeah. And then we ended up, yeah. He he convinced Craig to do the table tennis game. Uh -huh. I was surprised he actually did play on the second day though. Mm -hmm. It's fun to watch. Yeah, we had this whole story cooked up about how. You know, the the Australian ANZ Pro scene had kind of congregated in Victoria to kind of, you know, have a vote uh, <laughs> on who their champion was going to be for the qualifier. Yeah. They were going to send one out and they were going to be the chosen one. Uh, and and Krug had failed them in day one and, and he'd, been <laughs> <laughs> he'd been replaced by Seether in day two. Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we, we were lucky enough to cast Krug in day one. Uh, we missed Seeker yeah. in day two, unfortunately. It was it was a little stressful. The internet there was really bad. Yeah. The connection was terrible to Singapore. Yeah. They would randomly get either 400 ping or the normal amount, mm -hmm. and it would just bounce between it for no reason. You just yeah. have to keep restarting until you get the good one. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a little bit stressful, but yeah, it, it was all right in the end, and we got to kind of like sit behind them. We were all in the... It was in, set up in one of the bedrooms, so we were all sat on the beds behind them watching them play. <laughs> and I mean, uh -huh. Sheldon had no sound, so he was just like talking to us while wow. the game was going. <laughs> nice, amazing, amazing. Oh god, yeah, yeah. We we heard that uh, Azure was 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 venting a little bit because he was playing on like Oreo's like laptop or something. He was like, oh, "Mate, it's, yeah. it's just awful." Uh, so not the most ideal setup. It wasn't the best setup, no. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, they weren't expecting too much, and mm -hmm. I think they, they did fine. I kind of wish we sent Pez, actually. I think Pez is probably in the best format of anyone. Yeah, yeah, I think he, he definitely could have done well. Uh, speaking of doing well, though, we do see Strange going for a bit of a proxy of his own. He does have a Robo here towards the northern portion of the map. He does delay the CC, sorry, the Nexus a little bit here of Christianos. Yeah, kind of egging him on to throw down that Nexus after the pylon, and ah. he's going to oblige, so down that goes, and this Robo is very well hidden, but wow, Christiana finds it. How did he catch on to this? How did he figure it out? He's been very vigilant with his scouting, and this is when me metagaming comes into play. We were talking about it, about how maybe Strange is a little bit more known in the European scene, in the European meta, and Christiana is now fully aware of what's happening. Yeah, he, he is. So he's going to be able to prepare that shield battery. He might be seeing a few sentries coming out as well, but uh, going to be, most importantly, getting his own defensive robo. And considering just how far away this robo is for Strange, I think he should be able to get this up in time. I mean, I say that, but the attack's here. The attack is here. You, we do have Strange up one Stalker and one Immortal. He goes straight onto the shield battery. The shield battery is going to be going down. Now he can focus on these Stalkers as well, but that Immortal has taken a lot of hits here already. Mate, the killer instinct of Strange today is really impressive. Oh. He's feeling himself. He's going straight after Christiana here, and Christiana here scrambling to get this defense together. The Robo is not finished yet, and almost every Stalker has gone down. Oh my god, no, the production is under threat as well. The pylon is going to be going down. Whoa. The shield battery with the natural has been ignored. We are down to only three units, though, but we have that prison to reinforce and to also micro. Yeah, the pylon goes down. The prism is here. It is going to be able to micro. Pulls back the Stalker, oh, pulls oh. back the Immortal as well, and with that gg strange with a very quick 1-0 lead into the series wow gg well played with the one base all in did get scouted and likewise i was feeling a little bit concerned for strange just because that robot was so far out there in the middle of the map such a long reinforcement point but he goes in immediately with his first immortal and yeah, I just loved the decision making when it came to what he was focusing on, what he wasn't. He just ignored the natural, went straight into the main base. He knew he was on a timer. He knew what he needed to do to pull off.
to win. Oh. Yeah, that's right. And here we go. We are going to be having game two here on Royal Blood. So a little less room to hide proxies. And I mean, Cristiano, he did, of course, find the proxy, which is what makes it even more crazy. But I guess it was just a bit too late. Yeah, I guess the scout was a little bit too late. By the time he saw it, the robot was already done. The first immortal was already on the way. And now we're getting into game number two. Number uh, two. With, uh, with our dark horse this week ahead in this series. Yeah, absolutely. Strange has been on a tear. He's looking so confident. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he's going to go for Royal Blood. I mean, it's another non-ramp map. So definitely the possibility for aggression again. Mm, exactly, exactly. We do have a lot of possibilities as we are loading on in into game number two. And spotting in the bottom left hand corner of the map, the pink Polish Protoss. Down one game in this series, but not out. It is playing for Blazer, Christiana. And spawning in the top right hand corner of Royal Blood, we have the Red Protoss player currently leading this series 1 0, representing Mystery Gaming. It is strange. Boy, and here we go. Already kicking things off, kicking the series off with some spicy cheese. Uh, some halloumi, if you will. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we'll see what he has to offer here in game number two. Already kind of putting Cristiano on notice. I think I've ever had a spicy halloumi before. That sounds good. Really? Mate, mate. Sprinkle some chili on it, mate. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty yeah. good. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What do you usually have with your halloumi? Eat it. <laughs> okay. Like a breakfast thing. You it have is. like all your breakfast foods and then you have the halloumi though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like fry it, get it all crispy on the outside and just have a stupid amount of salt on it. Oh, it's beautiful. You add salt to it? Man. Yeah. You're cra it's already salty to begin with. At least tear in place. I don't know. <laughs> That's so Halloumi's good, mate. It's, it's, it's really good. And oh, uh, speaking of some spicy cheese, we have both players going for their own proxies. Okay. So both players thinking alike here. And it's actually going to be a gateway going down for Strange. What's Christiana going to throw down here? A Stargate. Okay. I think I like this a bit better for Strange. Yeah, so Strange was waiting a little bit longer, waiting for his cyber core to finish up. And I do think there's a lot more possibilities here with that Stargate, but the aggression is going to be hitting maybe a little bit faster for Strange as he's going to be pumping out those Stalkers. Meanwhile, we have a Zealot coming out here from Christiana. It's a Stalk. Oh my, oh my god, he's actually... <laughs> he wants to make it look like he's making something, but I guess he's going to cancel that second Stalker for, for the faster Oracle. Maybe. Or he just changed his mind. No shot. Right? Just... Yeah, I think it was just if the okay. probe threw down a pylon. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. This is out again. Yeah, he's showing it off. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that time definitely. <laughs> okay, let's go, Papa. We do have that Oracle on the way. Do you have the probe in position to expand if he needs to, but, um,. Yeah, this is going to get really interesting. We already have a shield battery on the way in the main. For Strange. Yeah, okay. Shield battery in the main. Nexus going down here mm. for Christiana. So he could be in a lot of trouble. He is really mm. skimping on the defenses back at home. And Strange is building up a big stalk account before he commits to this. Yeah. Looks like Warpin is about to finish up. So he's going to have one more warp in and should be hitting with about nine stalkers. And that's going to be more than enough to break through that shield battery. That's the thing. Like this Oracle shouldn't really do too much at all. We have a shield battery. It's in a bit of an awkward position. So some probes are, oh my God, the range is crazy. Nothing is going to go down in the main base and uh, this is it this is going to trigger strange to push into the natural there is a shield battery in the main but there's not enough energy for an overcharge yeah i i don't think this is enough if strange just runs straight up uh, that ramp and that's exactly what he's going to do he should be able to focus down these two stalkers and there we go two shots is all it takes and that's it mate the production is going to get depowered the boys are being pulled we have three stalkers very quick warp in towards the end there but again the pylons go down 
Yeah, Strange, he is not messing around in this series. He is getting Ooh. trapped. This probe's doing quite a lot of damage. Yeah. They do get on top of units very fast now that they don't have to decelerate. Yeah, exactly. There are two Storks remaining here for Christiana. The pylon's about to finish up. The shield battery is done. We're going to have an overcharge. Strange will eventually get cleaned up. One of the Storks does get, does get trapped. Yeah, it does, but look at that, 11 probes going down, 12 more continuing to go down here. Strange is getting a lot of damage here, and it's going to be really hard for Christiana to have enough money to even go for the counterattack. And I mean, he can't warp in right now. His gateway is depowered. Yeah, he can't warp in. He does have an immortal on the way, and it will finish up shortly. But Adepts are coming to finish off those Stalkers. Sorry, to finish off those Workers. We have Stalkers defensively back at home as well. Looks like that Shield Battery did die to the Oracle, by the way. Very impressive that the Oracle was able to do that. But the Adepts are here. Oh. Yeah, Stalker Party in the main. Adept Party in your main. Strange is looking to finish off Christiana here. And he does have a really big lead. But, I mean, Christiana, he, ha he has the two Nexuses. He's going to be having the energy for Chronos on both of those. He's got his gateways back up and running. The main problem for him here is he's just really struggling for money and it's going to make it hard for him to get his stalk account up. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, sure, Christiano can deny these adepts getting into his main. That's great and all. He can save these workers. But what about his natural? You know, he just can't mine from here at all just because the adepts are continuing to threaten those shades and there's no way to block that off. So Christiano is stuck on one base economy just like his opponent. And now Blink is going to be the follow-up for Strange. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's going to be a 4K Blink setup. Yeah, exactly. Before that happens, oh my god, we're diving on in. We do get that sentry. And these adepts are doing a great job at just tanking the immortal. Yeah, unfortunately, taking a lot of damage on those adepts because they are going to be shading in to try to take out those probes. And the Oracle makes quick work of them does make quick work of, work of them. Meanwhile, that prism did take a lot of damage. One or two more volleys away from going down. So Christian has to be very careful with how he maneuvers that. Meanwhile, at the same time, oh, Strange just with a delicate dance here, making sure he pulls back whenever the Immortal gets in range. Yeah, definitely. And here we go. The Oracle could be heading across the map. Strange did oh, have... Oh presence of mind to remake that battery but well that's a lot of stalkers catches him not looking takes out one of the stalkers of christiana but i think he's gonna have to make something happen soon yeah exactly meanwhile once again the oracle dies does dive in to focus down that shield battery but you know what strange he doesn't carry blinks on forward and oh we do have a hot pick up the immortal does get saved yeah nice dodging there he is dodging out all the shots on the immortals but he's just gonna be able to take out all of these stalkers Ooh. two immortals now takes out the war prism shield battery overcharge is committed though yeah, and it's going to take a lot of volumes to take down this first Immortal. Oh my god, it just will it's not, not die. Down. Yeah, looks like the Stalker shots went a little bit out of sync there. So Strange actually going to be losing a lot of Stalkers here, and he could be in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, now he's down in bases. He blinks on forward. Oh my god, it looks like he Ooh. will be able to... No, he barely doesn't get another wow. Immortal. The steel cooldown comes off just in time here to save that Immortal. Aye, 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 and Strange is running out of steam. Christiana is slowly coming back in this game. Now he's up to three Immortals. Yeah, and I mean, three Immortals, that's a pretty scary force to deal with. Looks like Strange going to try to set off the shields first and then maybe blink in after them. Yeah, he was trying to be a little bit cheeky there, but Christiana was fully aware he does pull back in time. That next is getting low. Here we go. He blink oh, on big One Immortal goes down. Yeah, one Immortal does set off the shield on the second one, but the Prism is here in time to save those Immortals. And wow. I think Strange is running out of steam here. Christiana might have done it. Yeah, I think Christiana has held onto his natural at this point. He is now ahead in Workers. Strange has to back off, and maybe he can hit a bit of a later timing here. Maybe he can go for a couple of additional warp ins and then go in trying to catch Christiana when he's macroing, but uh, it's going to be a tough ask. Oof. Yeah, Strange is running out of money here. I don't think he can break it. I mean... Yeah, look at all these Stalker Warpins. I think that might just be it. I think Christian has held this somehow. Yeah, he has somehow been able to just bring this back again. We saw a little bit of miscontrol or just missed target firing earlier where Strange committed and the Stalker, sorry, the Immortal survived. And now we have three Immortals uh, with a Prism, with the ability to micro. Like, I, I don't know if there's really a way in here. There are some attempts and maybe they can pick up some of these probes. Oh. Yeah, maybe they are going to shade in they're going to do the best that they can but no those three immortals they dps those down so far strange he has to try to make something happen but he just can't find an opening 
Yeah, exactly. He picks up three probes, but that is not enough to come back in this game. He goes for a ninja base. He's taking the gold, but it gets scouted. GG gets caught. G <laughs> G. The hell did we just watch? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought Strange was just gonna be shooting his way to a 3-0 there, but mm -hmm. Christiana just just holds on there. And I mean, it's off the back of some nice micro, some nice defense there, pulling all those probes. And I mean, the probes, they do defend that kind of thing a lot better these days. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, a very impressive play there from Cristiano. Very good crisis management. I think that's probably the best thing to take note of because things were looking really bad for him. Things were looking dire for Cristiano in a game two when everything was depowered, when he only had like two stalkers to his name, but he crawled his way back in. Very impressive play from Cristiano. Strange slipping up a little bit there. Can he keep up the can he maintain that momentum that he once had in this series? Yeah, indeed. Here we go. We're gonna be going on to Dragon Scale. So I think this is the first ramp out we've had between these two players. Kinda of wondering who's gonna blink first. Who's gonna go for the one gate expand who wants to be aggressive again. I feel like Christiana after that game, probably gonna be feeling pretty confident about being the defensive player. True, true. I would tend to agree. And here he is himself, the man of the hour, spawning in the top left-hand corner, representing Team Blazer. It is the pink Polish Protoss player. It is Christiana. And spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of the map. He's been doing so well tonight. Can he keep the momentum going? It is for Mystery Gaming. Strange. <laughs> I just love that when Strange went for the ninja gold base, that was the first time that he had scattered the proxy itself with that with that probe. It's like, oh. <laughs> like I appreciate I guess the this effort. Isn't gonna work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I appreciate the effort. It was it was wild, mate. And again, it just goes to show what Strange is willing to do in a game, what he's willing to do in a series. If he has to, ninja bases, mate, they're, they're gonna be up his alley. A hundred percent, but here we go. We are gonna be having uh two gate opening coming out from both players, so no one wants to be the defensive player. Kind of makes sense. I mean, Strange has been pretty scary with his aggressive player. Mm. Christiana maybe doesn't want to leave too much of an opening. Yeah, and I think this is also maybe a metagamey thing, right? Where we're on a map, we're on a ramp map, but despite that, Christiana, he doesn't want to take his chances. He's like, nah, mate, I'm not, I don't want to get cheesed out. I don't want to die trying to be greedy and take my natural expansion too early. So respect Strange and goes for his own two get opener. Oh. Yeah, good thing he did. Strange going for a proxy again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. the missing pylon is going to be scouted. I'm not sure if those probes crossed paths there. Mm. That would be wild if they didn't. Because I don't think Strange knew to stop there. Yeah. Uh, I actually would kind of like it if Strange faked the proxy here. Yeah, I would like it as well. I don't want him to commit too hard here as the probe of Christiana is looking for the proxy pylon, but will not find it, not yet. Meanwhile, we have a probe scout from Strange confirming the two gate opener. Ooh, is going to confirm the Robo first as well. Yeah, okay, it's a Robo too. So Christiana either looking for aggression of his own or playing this extremely safe, which, I mean, in that case, if Strange just wants to expand here, which I, I think, I think that is what he's doing. Yeah, I think it'll be a wise choice. There we go. We have a sentry on the way for that hallucination for the scouting and for that defensive play. Meanwhile, another proxy pylon is being sent out across the map. So Strange okay. is going to have a lot of possibilities here if he wants to be active. And oh. a lot of supply. Yeah, that is a lot of supply. Meanwhile, we have a shield battery in the main base. Still no Nexus. Oh. So Christiana may just be going for some one base play of his own. Yeah, it looks like he's reacting quite heavily here. Yeah, and it's, yeah, a, interesting. It's, it's not a mortal. It's a prism. He's going to be aggressive. Okay, so there is going to be a bit of aggression coming out. We do have the natural coming down for Strange, so Strange going to be going for a bit more of a macro play, as we were predicting. And looks like, yeah, he is trying to set himself up to be a bit more defensive. He has his own robo at home. Uh, 
a mortal coming out for Christiana. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely really intrigued to see where this is going. Yeah, so we're gonna have some three gate play here from Christiana. He can warp in across the map. He's gonna have a production advantage compared to his opponent. The probe kind of slips in. Look quickly, looking at the vision here. Strange wasn't able to see too much, but he did confirm the lack of nexus at least. Yeah, it's definitely huge. So Strange knows that he's going to be the one that's going to be sitting back being defensive here. We do have two adepts here in the prism, so it's going to be a bit of harass going down. This is very much how we saw Strange play his PvP, so a bit of a role reversal now. Yeah, a little bit as the adepts are slipping into the main base. Probes are going to be falling left and right. Strange out of position, was not expecting the prism to come from that angle as two probes go down, but only two. At least Strange was quick to pull the boys. Yeah, two probes. Good micro from Christiana. Delays a lot of mining there for Strange. Mm -hmm. And behind that, just going up into Immortals, it's just going to be an Observer coming out for Strange, so... Okay, maybe a little bit worried about DTs or something like that? I'm not really sure. Yeah, I guess he's just making sure he doesn't get caught out by a DT opening. I mean, he did see a Prism, and he did see one base play, so anything is possible here from the Protoss, so he's fully aware of that as well. Meanwhile, there are the aggressive warpings across the map. We have four sentries available for those force fields. Yo, he could be looking at force field the ramp. Uh-oh. <gasps> he's going for it. Oh, okay. He's going to force field this out. He should be able to take out this pylon too. Oh, the focus fire oh. isn't there. He tries to take down the probe. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, the Adepts are going to be saved by the Prism. He does elevator everything into the main base. The pylon is still going to be going down, and Strange is locked out of his own main. Hey, and he's going for the gateways as well. That would be a huge pickoff here, as it looks like the probes are going to be pulled. Yeah, they are going to be pulled. Unfortunately, there's not, there is enough energy for a recall, but we're not going for it yet. It looks like Strange is trying to squeeze in with everything he has here, trying to save some of his production across the map. He does have his own adepts or had adepts in the main base of his opponent, but they did get cleaned up. Yeah, a lot of pros getting cleaned up as well. That idea not quite working out there for Strange, oh. but we do have a second Immortal. The juggling's really good, but there's only so much juggling can do, especially with so much DPS on the ground. Yeah, eventually Strange made it back into his own main. He still doesn't have any production other than that one Robo. One gateway did get taken down as well, but with the power of two Immortals and those shield batteries, Strange, he's holding on here. He's holding on to his bases. Yeah, he is, and that means he's got this second base up and mining, so... Uh, feels like it should be a decent lead for Strange, but Christiana actually macroing quite smoothly behind this, and seems like they're quite equal. Yeah, again, if you recall, a couple of probes fell to the Adept Harass. The boys had to be pulled as well to defend the main base, hmm. so after all said and done, Christiana has been able to equalize that economy. Not just that, but also have a lead of his own when it comes to his army, when it comes to his production. Uh, it's going to be far later, though, when it comes to any kind of tech, as Blink did just start for Strange. Yeah, okay, Blink gonna be starting up that force field, not quite hitting the mark, but actually does stop a oh. decent amount of mining there. Wow. <laughs> the probes are a little bit stuck here at the natural, some inefficient mining feels bad, man. Uh, but Christiana is going for a follow-up, he's not going for Blink, oh. he's not even going for charge, mate. Okay, Glaze, I mean, we saw this already with Strange, we saw him do this against Nightmare, and it is something that keeps popping up in PvP. It's definitely something the Protoss players have been exploring lately, and it's really interesting. It's really good, especially against Immortal-based compositions. You know, it worked against Nightmare, when Nightmare had six Immortals, if you recall, on that game on Ancient Cistern. Uh, here, Strange, again, is going to be relying a lot on Immortal production, but he goes for a drop across the map. He's going to be able to pick up some of these workers. Yeah, shows a whopping of Adepts as well, mm -hmm. so maybe a little bit of a tell. Yeah, I'm sure that is a bit of a tell, so Strange has to be careful here as he rotates back around the prisms, just chasing the prism. I like how both of them have two immortals in them as well. <laughs> just going to be keeping each other in a check as the prism is going back into the main. Uh oh. Yeah, the prism going to be looking for a bit more probe kills. We do have some stalker war pins coming down for Christiana. Probably not exactly what he wanted to do here. And actually, it looks like the immortal's going to be able to fight those. So there's a lot of action going down in the main here of Christiana. I don't think this is what he had planned. Yeah, I mean, because there's no blink, there's nothing to threaten this prism, to be honest. Like, strange, he can just have free reign of the main base as long as the immortals are kept alive and don't take too many hits. Behind this, we have a third base on the way as well. Oh, soon Cristiano is going to be looking to pull the trigger here. Soon he is going to want to focus on those Adept Warpings across the map. 
Yeah, definitely. As the big attack is bearing it oh. down. Big aggressive blink coming out from Strange. He does not believe in this attack and he's going to be going after the Immortals. Yeah, he goes after the Immortals at the same time. The Adepts do shade into the main base. We have an overcharge. The Adepts so far haven't really gotten too many worker kills and Strange is pulling back. Yeah, he is. He is going to try to take out all of these Immortals before they can take out too many probes. Six probes go down, but I think that's manageable losses when we have a third Nexus. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, here comes the main army of Christiana. One shield battery already going down. Overcharge was popped as well to deal with the Adepts. And these Immortals are not fighting! Yeah, the four Immortals of Christiana doing work against the Stalkers, absolutely Ooh. chunking through them. Looks like Strange going to be losing his own Immortal, at least one of them already going down. Is he going to be able to hold here? The shield batteries are out of energy. The concave for Christiana is insane. Yeah, exactly. Too much of Strange's army just wasn't doing anything for far too long. GG gets called and Christiana will take a lead in this series, taking game number three. All right, so Christiana fighting back and has a chance to take down the Sparkling Tuna Cup now. Oh, he does have that chance here. The Tuna, the Dong one, is within range. Oh my god, Christiana, one game away. He can taste the Tuna Puppy. Oh. I like Tuna. It's good. Tuna's good. Do you have a, a preference for how you have your tuna? Yeah, raw. Raw tuna. Like raw. sashimi tuna. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Do you like wasabi? Do you add wasabi to it? Or just soy sauce? Um, yeah, wasabi's alright. I mean, there's not many places that you can get actual wasabi. Especially uh, if you're just getting takeaway true, sushi. True. <laughs> I just give you horseradish. Like green horseradish. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. The wasabi you get from takeaway places is horseradish. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Oh, God. And if you wanted to, you could, like, buy some of your own just to add to it. But True. But how often do you really get, you know, sushi? Wasabi's pretty full on. I like the wasabi peas. They're pretty good. Mm. Pretty nice. Mm. True, true. Speaking of things that are nice. Speaking of things that are spicy. Game four, we're here. Alrighty, and here we go. Spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. It was looking like he was going to be a bit of a push over for Strange, but he fought his way back into this. Now has the 2-1 series lead. This is for Blazer, Christiana. And spawning in the top right-hand corner of Ancient System, we have his opponent. We have the Red Protoss representing Mystery Gaming. It is Strange. Oh boy, it's already been a very intense series indeed. We've seen Christiana kind of whip out some of Strange's own tricks and use them against him. We've also seen some really interesting uh, kind of like positioning maneuvers as well. You know, Christiana going for the force fields on the ramp, kind of forcing Strange out of position as well with those adept shades as well. Um, it's, yeah, it's been a really, a really technical PvP, I feel. Yeah, definitely. And I mean... Very aggressive kind of play coming out from both players, and it looks like that is going to continue in this map. Yeah, looks to be the case. As once again, we have two gate openers all around, and we haven't been able to play it. Mate, what two units are we going to get? Let's play the game. Let's oh, play the game. okay. Um, I think for Strange... I think Stalker Sentry, actually. Hmm. Christiana. Stalker, Stalker. Stalker, Stalker. Okay, I'm going to say double Adept from Christiana. Uh -huh. And I'm going to say, I want to say Stalker Sentry, but to be different, I'll say Stalker, Stalker from Strange. Oh my god. Okay. He has to. This is just what, this is where his second pylon goes. <laughs> true, true. We've got one. Do we have two? Oh, hey. And double Adept. Let's go. <laughs> oh, nailed it. Let's go. Uh... I'm a pro. He's gonna cancel and make his outlet. True, <laughs> true. But I forgot about that. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. But the pro for Strange is sticking around, and with that double stalker opener, this could lead into a proxy third gateway. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it looks like it is gonna be a proxy this time, and I like the way that he's threw the pylon down the bottom as well. 
Just to kind of make it look like that last game where it wasn't a full commitment, where it was just a prox uh, pylon out on the map to try to throw off Cristiano. And that is going to help him again, just to hide his play now. It is going to help him out. Meanwhile, Cristiano is zooming across the map here with his depths barely doesn't... Oh, he sees the pylon! Oh. It's actually within the path! Oh, oh no. Okay, yeah, maybe not the best location here for the proxy because he is going to just scout that. I'm not sure if he saw it immediately, but he's going to see it pop up on his map, of course. Oh my god! He's in the house! Uh, oh, no! Uh, uh. Wait, <laughs> There's a pylon! Oh, it's the nightmare pylon. Let's yeah. go. It's, he took his power. He took his strength after he beat him. And I mean... Not, he's not going to check. Yeah, that means he doesn't have to make a prism now, right? Yeah. Okay, it is going to be 3 8 Robo coming out again from Strange. This is something that we saw him utilizing quite a lot against Nightmare and to mm. some mixed success. Uh, these four adepts are going to be chasing down these stalkers and oh, they're putting this one stalker in damage. Nice little shuffle oh. there. And Strange is going to be keeping the health pretty topped up. There's the devs going to be chasing hard after that last stalker, but yeah. I think a few of them are going to be going down for their troubles. I mean, now the Immortal reveals itself as well here, two adepts are going to be going down. That was really cute control from Strange. At the same time, two adepts are tied up in the main base. The pylon has been scouted, but this is supply that is not going to be used defensively at the natural. Yeah, I think he might be needed at the natural, but no, it looks like it's going to take at least one more warp in. What prism going to be coming out for Strange? The Okay, we're going to be finishing up here as well, so we will have access to fast warp ins. We will have those warp ins available. Meanwhile, Cristiano has a little bit of time to respond here. He's making his own defensive robot. I love it. We have a shield battery on the way in the main as well, as Strange is getting ready to elevate her in. And, oh, Cristiano is getting into position. Oh! Yeah, oh. in he goes. Cristiano is in position, but the Immortal Ooh. is here, so Four Stalk is definitely not going to be enough to deal with this. We do have a few uh, sentries and actually an Immortal of his own, so looks like he might even have the better army here, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like he will, especially with that shield battery and an overcharge available as well. Strange is just being forced oh, out no. of the main. Yeah, big losses there for Strange. Ah, yeah, yeah. He still has those two immortals and he's transitioning. He knows he cannot break the defensive position of Cristiano. He's going for the bay, he's going for the disruptors. Oh, yeah, this is a rough spot now for Strange. And looks like he will be going after these stalkers, but they can just drop back to the shield battery here. And I mean, Strange has his own immortal. Oh, he does have his own immortal. One stalker goes down, but one stalker is nothing compared to the lead that Cristiano has. He has the worker lead. We have a couple of adepts, three adepts actually doing a shade into the main. But we're not committing yet. We still have plenty to defend here for Christiana. And Strange is banking so much on his follow-up disruptors. Yeah, he, he is. But he just has the two Immortals. I mean, Christiana's going to have his own second Immortal here. Christiana's army is pretty comparable. And he has the batteries to fall back on as well. Uh, I really I don't like this spot here for Strange. Yeah, I don't really like it either, but the Disruptor is on the way on the front lines. Before that happens, we have a drop into the main base. going to be distracting Cristiano a little bit, but his main army has found the proxy. Or, I mean, he already knew it was here. Well, yeah, the funny thing as well is I don't think Strange realized that Cristiano knows yeah. where the proxy is. And <laughs> those are some fantastic force fields. Yeah, and this shade is a little bit too late. The first Disruptor comes out. Nova is going to connect with three adepts. Yeah, good connection, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough. We have two Immortals here. They're going after the gateway. Yeah, the gateway is going to be going down. The Immortals across the map are still in the main base trying to wreak some havoc. The Robo is going to get depowered, oh. and Christiana is doing it. He is just completely shutting all of this down. Yeah, he absolutely is. He is on the home straight here trying to seal this sparkling tuna cup win. And I mean, Stranger's units, they are battered. They are bruised. There is no opportunity to... For reinforcement the war prism even in a little bit of trouble there but it will be able to get back to safety there's a lot hinged on the oh. success of these disruptors yeah. that's kind of cute i love it he repowers the robot we have a second disruptor on the way we have a stargate behind this as well because we're just getting every tech on one base apparently uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can get there if we can get that long four immortals are coming out to shut down the robo my god wow oh. yeah okay Hey, that's a crazy force coming out from Cristiano. It really is. Another, another Nova is going to be going off, but again, only singularly, singular units are falling, and we need a more damage done than that. Strange is being forced back. He does have two disruptors, though, and if he's able to land some money shots, he could come back.
He is, and... Okay, we're gonna have the recall, but I mean, he's recalling to one base. I don't really see what the end goal is here. Yeah, exactly. The thing is that there's no reason for Cristiano to try and push up this ramp, right? There's no reason for him to try and fight for control of the main. He's going for his counterattack, confirming the lack of natural. Strange is going across the map to harass with his immortals once again. Yeah, first Nova goes out, doesn't make a connection. Cristiano going to see if he can just take out some uh, take out some gateways from the low ground here, but it's actually going to need to recall. Yeah, it just recalls, and I love this, right? Like, again, Cristiano, there's no reason to be across the map. We just we just have to pull all the way back home, just defend on two bases, slowly get a third, and just gain a lead from there. Meanwhile, Strange is starting a Void Ray production Ooh. and a Phoenix. A Void Ray, okay. Uh... I don't think there actually are that many stalkers here for Cristiano, oh. and they are going to be going down to the Immortal as well. I like this. I really like the Strangers oh. <gasps> trying to take that out. Oh, no. Oh, that's so close. I was going to say, I really like that Strange is going to try to take out the last of the anti-air, but... I mean, losing an immortal this future. Uh, yeah, he lost an immortal, almost lost the prism as well. He's been playing with fire. He's getting burned right now. He's, he's, oh my God. At the same time, we do have a prism sticking into the main base as well. Phoenix is revealed. That's a real Phoenix, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, so he does confirm the kill on the immortal. Yeah. He gets an immortal. The Phoenix is chasing down the prism as well. Gonna force a warp in of stalkers. Meanwhile, the rest of the Phoenixes and the Void Ray is showing up as well. This is very strange. Yeah. <laughs> very confusing. Yeah, he's and gonna he be able to, be able to confirm that kill. Wow. <laughs> oh okay, God. so he actually gets some really solid value out of this. Is he gonna get the immortal? He could get the immortal. Oh my god, uh, no oh, way. Yeah, we got the rest of the army. We have defensive Wait, pieces. What? We have a second star. He has Phoenix too. Way. What? No. What is going on? Is this normal? He's going double Stargate Phoenix, Buffy. He's crazy. First players are crazy. <laughs> Oh, uh, this would have been huge. I, I'm just, uh, I wish that it worked out here for Strange, that like yeah. going into these Phoenixes to CC Immortals and to try and shut down this army. But alas, Christiana is too quick. He was going into his own Stargate. But Strange likewise has his own natural up and running now. Getting fully saturated, still behind economically. But you know, he's looking to get back into this. Yeah, it was a really cool idea, but it didn't quite pay off. And now yeah. he's uh, Phoenix going to be dipping in, seeing if they can oh. confirm whether there's continued Phoenix production coming out from Strange. Should be able to pick out a couple of units. They're going to try to take down the Void Ray, but there's a little bit too much here for Strange. Yeah, a little bit too much. Strange just forced the Phoenix back, but they did get two probe kills, and every probe kill is going to be cash money here for Christiana. He's going to be threatening once again, just keeping Strange busy back at home as the Phoenix count gets higher and higher. Okay, so... Oh, oh does he get the prism? Okay, what? he doesn't get the prism. Man, Phoenix are pretty tanky. Yo, the Phoenix just... No, the Void Ray! Oh, no, no. no. Oh, the Void Ray overextends, oh. it goes down! It should have been an avoid ray. It wouldn't have died. It it should have it should have av avoided the <laughs> phoenix. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, as the phoenix is diving into the main base, just completely eviscerating the mineral line here. Uh... Every probe goes down. Every probe for the price of one Phoenix. Cristiano just being so oppressive with this lead that he's found for himself. And very creative, too. Yeah, very creative indeed. The Immortals show up. They're going to be able to depower some of these gateways as well. We do see the Stalkers rocking on for here. Blink, unfortunately, is still not done. And I love the use of the terrain here. The Disruptors rendered inert. Yeah. They can't do anything. Yeah, this is some really cool play coming out from Christian. It feels like he's having a little bit of fun as he wraps this one up. Yeah, he's he's just soaking in at the win right now. Just in that marinade. He comes into the main base once again, taking down again every single probe that he can get his hands on. Could even get a little bit more here as Blink is finally done at least. Yeah, he's dancing. He's baiting out those Blinks. He's going to dip back in. He just he just hates mining mans. He's yeah. kind of standard. He hates the probes, but he hates them. He hates Strange making probes as well. He knows that it's just not natural. It's not really what he's about. No, and he's continuing to make Phoenix. He's got charge on the way. 
he can even run in, take this fight, pick up those disruptors, and maybe even kill them. I mean, that's a lot of Phoenix. It really is, you know, and there's not that much anti-air available here. He could do whatever he wants. Speaking of doing whatever he wants, it looks like Strange is giga all in. I mean, he doesn't have anything left. We have a recall. Strange, one final push. This is all he has left. Does Phoenix even have lifts? Oh, wow. This is a huge army for Christiana. There is no way this works out. All we need is two lifts for those disruptors. Oh. There we go. The lifts come in. One of them doesn't quite make it, but oh, man, he's got charge. I mean, come on. Christiana, <laughs> GG. He is going to be our champion. Wow, GG, well played. Congratulations to Christiana for taking down Strange 3 to 1, and he is going to be this week's Sparkling Tuna Cup champion. That he is. Congratulations to him. Very nicely done. Oh, gee, gee, well played. What a what a finals tier. Things were looking in favor of Strange for a little bit. Even game two, if you remember, like we almost had a 2-0 lead for Strange. It was crazy. It was wild. It was so close. Chris Christiana was so tenacious. Not just that, but also was able to somehow kind of get into the mindset of Strange a little bit and, and kind of keep up with how crazy he was being, how aggressive he was. Yeah, it was... Kind of funny, it feels like in that game too, Christiana just took all of that momentum that Strange was running with and took it for himself and just took the wind out of his sails there. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, mate, pretty much. What a what a series, what a PvP, what a beautiful display of, of PvP as well. You know, we didn't get, we, even even in Strange vs. Nightmare, we, we settled down a little bit in game three, but here in this series, nah, mate, it was just a knife fight through and through. Yeah, absolutely, So, Fantastic work from Christiana, and he will be our champion, joining the ranks of Kyo. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Week one, or la last edition, was Kyo. Now here in the second STC of 2023, we have a Christiana joining the, uh, the kind of Hall of Fame, the Hall of Champions, the Hall of Tunas, if you will. And, uh, yeah, GG, very well deserved. Well deserved here. Yeah, absolutely. Oh boy, and also again, a special shout out to Strange because he still had a really deep run himself and he made it all the way into the finals for it. As a reminder, exclamation mark Macherino in the chat if you want to support this specific tournament and if you want to boost the prize pool yourself, you can. It is available if you wish. But more importantly, something that we haven't mentioned yet is exclamation mark uh, Patreon. We have a Patreon page to support not just this tournament, but all the cranky duckling events out there. Sparkling Tuna Cup, Grand Platypus Open, and the Tenacious Turtle Tussle. All three of our events are funded by the community or are looking to be funded by the community. And uh, yeah, we're set, we have it set up to grow into not just bi-weeklies, but turn them into regular weekly events and then pay out even more players, grow the prize pool, not just top two, but grow it into paying out top four and then top eight as well. Yeah, that would be fantastic if we could pay out that top four especially. But yeah, congratulations to our two players for making it so far, doing so well. Yeah, yeah. Strange still gets paid. I'm glad about that, because he did have a really good night tonight. Oh, he really did. He really did. And I hope he was able to put himself on people's radars. I know he's probably done that for us, at least. We're like, yo, strange. He's kind of popping off recently. You know, we keep an eye on him. Uh, he can do quite well, and we will be keeping an eye on him in future tournaments, not just uh, outside of of uh, Cranky Duckling, but, you know, Sparkling Tuna Cups, obviously King of the Hills. We'll be keeping an eye on him, and we'll be expecting great things, great things. Yeah, come back. Come back to us, Strange. <laughs> come back to us, Papi. Make the PvPs exciting. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Not just that. I know we've been hyper-focused on the PvPs. Remember how we played against Wayne? Like, again, just really... Just n no standard play whatsoever. Uh, you love to see it. I, I, you love it whenever there's a player that has a name, like Strange that actually lives up to his name you know we're not we're not like innovation who's like stock standard <laughs> sort of thing you know like hyper uh, robotic no, ass macro no 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 no. we're not going to talk about innovation like that okay <laughs> yeah, he was he was before your time what are you talking about man? Mate, he, you he innovated perfect player <laughs> 
shaking my head, shaking my head. Uh, it's, 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 yeah, great to see, great to see Strange doing well. With that, that is the conclusion of this week's Sparkling Tuna Cup. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Again, I apologize for the rocky start. For those wondering, uh, the stream took an hour to fully get going, uh, just because there was a thunderstorm going on, and uh, apparently my internet was not... It didn't like it. <laughs> it, did, it didn't like the lightning. It didn't like the thunderstorm. And, and it struggled a little bit. But we, we got there in the end. We got there. Yeah, we got there. I forgot about that, actually. But we still got to see some really good games. So all, all good in the end. All good, all good. Also, if you are maybe interested in tuning into some of the replays of this week's tournament, then of course, our Patreon isn't just about growing the event itself, but you also get some benefits, some rewards, and a part of that reward is the replay packs for as many events as possible. Not just our Cranky Duckling events, but events that we have, you know, permission for, like your OSC King of the Hills, your Centimeter Latinos, your Copa IP range, your Battle of the Americas, when we did have those events going. Uh, but whenever we do get permission, we also share those replay packs to our patrons and to our Twitch subscribers as well. Uh, so yeah, consider supporting us and get some stuff out of it. Yeah, exactly. We always appreciate the support. Definitely, definitely. With that, we are done here when it comes to this broadcast. Uh, and as we wrap some things up here, I guess we, we don't have to do full shout outs right now, but you know, if you enjoyed our casting, then check out the Cranky Ducklings all over the place. Facebook, Instagram, we have a YouTube channel, we have um, our Discord as well, if you want to support us, if you want to follow us. Uh, but Asher, would you mind joining me? Sticking around. We're going to have a bit of a break uh, once we wrap this up. And we have some viewer submitted replays to cast. Yep. All right. No worries. <laughs> Let's go, Bobby. <laughs> Ash, Ash, I, I missed you, Bobby. I mean, you've been we'll going. Go for a light, a light roast. Oh, a light roast. A coffee. Oh, I have some coffee right here, actually. I do have some. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Midnight. Please don't have coffee. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> oh, God. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, God. But, Ash, do you have anything you want to say here before we go on a break? before we stop the seriousness of the cast, which of course had been incredibly serious, and uh, go into casting some some more viewer stuff instead. Well, they're gonna get less serious. If you wanna, you wanna have a bit of fun, stick around for sure. Oh, what kind of fun? Um, inappropriate fun. <laughs> We're going to be going on a short break here. As a reminder, again, Sparkling Tuna Cup will be back in two weeks. It is a bi-weekly event, and we hope you enjoyed it. It's a great event that kind of brings together all these regions. We had some Koreans. We had some Europeans, some Southeast Asians as well. They're all coming together here to make this event as beautiful as it was. Again, we'll see you guys in two weeks. We'll see you guys in five minutes as we go for a short break. And when we return, we'll have two to three viewer replays. See you then. See you soon. Quack, quack.